What's going on guys? Bengal again here coming back at you with another video today doing a quiz. I almost said a Sporkle quiz, but this one actually is not on Sporkle. I tweeted out, I said, I think today's video will be a quiz. Send me NFL quizzes. And a lot of you responded with some interesting things. Some of them actually were quizzes though. And the big one that I saw that intrigued me was the hardest NFL quiz we've ever written. If you guys ever want to send me a quiz to do, make sure to tweet at me at Bengal YouTube. That link's in the description, twitter.com slash Bengal YouTube. I tweeted out. And also, I upload on my second channel. The support's been crazy on there. I'm uploading pretty much every day. If you want to see me play online, or I'm actually good at a game, usually, MLB is the game to watch, and it, I make it exciting, hopefully, even if you're not a baseball fan. So check out the link to my second channel in the description as well. And let's get into it. So this is, can you pass the hardest NFL quiz we have ever written? Now, that seems kind of like a loaded title because what if they haven't written any NFL quiz before? Therefore, it's the hardest by default. Or maybe most of their quizzes are like, ah, can you name an NFL team in Florida? You're like, oh, I wonder. And there are three of them to choose from. Everyone knows the Miami Dolphins, even if you're not a football fan in general. So I don't know. This one could be interesting. The average score is 60%, which is, I guess, a failing grade of a D. It's a six-minute quiz, and it's from Zoo.com. So not exactly an NFL site. I don't know what Zoo is going to be. But I will have to see. So first question, the NFL was the third of the major sports leagues to be founded. When was it created? Well, I know it is not 1899, and I know it's not 1946. It's going to be 1920 or 1917. It's basically a coin flip. You know what? I thought... Oh, the 100-year anniversary was the 2020 season. I thought it was 2019. I thought it was 1919, now that I'm thinking about it. And that isn't an option. So I'm going to just go with 1920. No, it's got to be 1917 when it was created... And the first season was 1919? 1920? I don't agree. So the NFL's 100th season was the 2019 NFL season. But they created it in 1920. So that doesn't make any sense. Starting off strong, we'll move on. The first Super Bowl was played in 1967. What team won? I believe it's the Packers. Wouldn't be the Bears. They didn't win until 1985. The Giants didn't win their first Super Bowl until 1986. The Chief isn't a team. This one Chief from Kansas City out there. It's got to be the Green Bay Packers. And it is. You got to love a quiz when they can't even get a team name spelled correctly. On the second question. And this question bothered me. Like, I guess 1920 is the answer that makes sense. But I knew that the 2019 NFL season was the 100th anniversary, which made no sense. So I figured that maybe it was created in 1917 and they didn't get a full season together until 1919. I don't know. Which of these teams has the fewest Super Bowl wins? Well, the Cowboys have, like, five, right? I think the Cowboys have five. Two in, like, the Staubach era. Or, or it might be two or three in the like the Tom Landry era, and then three in the 90s. So it's not the Cowboys. Patriots have six. Steelers have six. It's got to be the Green Bay Packers. Yep. Packers only have four. Yeah, only four. That one wasn't too hard either. The NFL formed with 10 teams, or 10 teams from four states. Which of these teams joined the latest? I think this one's going to be the Dolphins. Well, the Packers were around forever. But... Maybe they were only around from the NFL. Like, is this going back to AFL time? Impossible to know. The Chicago Bears have been around for a while. The Cardinals, I think, started out as the Chicago Cardinals, right? Or is that baseball? It's always tough to know with two Cardinals. They were in Phoenix for a minute. So it's which, to, which of these teams joined the latest? Would it be as their name the entire time? I can get a hint. I don't really want to do that. I think it's between the Cardinals and the Dolphins. I just wonder what their exact definition is going to be. Do I take a hint? I'm going to say what my answer would be, and then I'll take the hint to see if it's going to give it away. So I would go here, I think, with the Dolphins, but the Cardinals are weird too. Beaches. That's the hint. 
And then it takes away two options. Yeah, I was going to go with the Dolphins anyway. Uh, the big beaches hint. Oh, it was fantastic. Which NFL team has the most Super Bowl losses? This is the Buffalo Bills, I believe. They lost four in a row. Some teams haven't even made four Super Bowls. The Packers have, I believe. The Patriots certainly have. But they haven't lost four. I think they've only lost three. And the Vikings... I don't even know that they've made one. They definitely have not won one. They may have made one. The Buffalo Bills... Wow! It's not the Bills who lost four in a row. It's the Patriots. Six and five. Yeah, I guess that before the... Tom Brady, Bill Belichick era, the Patriots. The Patriots lost a couple Super Bowls. Jim Plunkett, I think, lost the Super Bowl as a Patriots starting quarterback. Okay, that was that was a stupid answer. I'm like, I, I didn't even think about before the Belichick era. Maybe this is the hardest quiz ever, because I'm not doing all that well. I have two wrong answers already. Both have frustrated me. There have been several NFL relocations in the past 25 years, but what is the newest NFL team to join the league? The Houston Texans in 2002. Panthers were in the 90s. Ravens were in the 90s. Titans were in 1997. So the Texans are the answer in 2002. Titans in 99? That's not true. Well, I guess maybe it is. They were the Tennessee Oilers in 1997. So maybe... Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, uh, Panthers 90s, Ravens 90s, Texans was the easy answer. The coach who has the most career wins also coached the only NFL perfect season. Who is it? It is Don Shula with the Miami Dolphins. That kind of gives it away with the perfect season. The 72 Dolphins. So Don Shula is the answer. Beautiful. A dozen teams have won multiple Super Bowls. What team is the most in a row? All of the above. That has to be the answer. That has to be the answer. I mean, the Packers... Hold on. The Packers won a few... They won. A, they only won two in a row at most. The Patriots have won more than two in a row. It's gotta be the Patriots. All of the above? Oh, man. The Patriots never won three in a row. Well, there you go. I, I knew it was all of the above, and I psyched myself out. Knew, knowing that the Packers only won two in a row, I figured the Patriots probably would have won three in a row at some point. But nope. All right, this is killing me. I still kind of can't believe that I just didn't click all of the above there. Some of these questions I'm overthinking, and some of them not thinking hard enough. Like, this is, I guess, general NFL trivia, and I haven't really done particularly well the PAT is, it was moved back somewhat recently, I think to 33 yards. Yeah, gotta be. Until 2015, the extra point kick after touchdown was 20 yards from the goalpost, but so moved back to 33 yards from the goalpost. What team won Super Bowl X? I have no idea. Super Bowl 10? I have no idea. What year would that have been? Like, around 1970 or so I'm gonna go with the Dolphins in that case the Pittsburgh Steelers 1976 I had no idea I mean how, how am I supposed to know that I'm sure many of you did know that but I know the Giants won an 86 90 2007 and 2011 seasons I don't know what the the Roman numerals are for most of those I know I think XLVI is 2007 but after that, I have, I have no idea. I mean, how am I supposed to know Super Bowl X? And then even if you said, oh, who won the Super Bowl between... Or in the 1976 season, I still would have no idea. Good question, I guess. An NFL football team, or an NFL football field is 53 and a third yards wide. Who has the most career rushing yards? Uh... I mean, it's Emmett Smith is the answer. Why is this even included? <laughs> it's not related at all. Emmett Smith is the answer. <laughs> Why does the question start out with something that isn't even remotely related? Uh, here it is again. A football weighs about one pound. Who has the most career passing yards? It's Drew Brees recently, right? Broke it. 
Sure did. All right. Wide receivers are some of the most uh, outspoken players in the league. I can't get over this. Just random statement followed by question. Do you know is the most career receiving yards? It is Jerry Rice. Terrell Owens is not even close and is up there. So same with Randy Moss. Larry Fitz is up there as well. But not even close. Who broke Joe Theismann's leg? That would be LT. Lawrence Taylor against Washington football team. Then known by a different name. Who hit a sideline reporter during a live broadcast? Oh, who hit on a sideline reporter? That's got to be... That's got to be Broadway Joe. Who else would be up to those antics? I, I had to have been. <laughs> oh, against... Oh, I remember this, actually. Yeah, that's got to be super awkward. Which of these items has never been used as a prop in a touchdown celebration? Well, cell phone was Joe Horn. Sharpie... Who was Sharpie? I don't remember. That's somebody, though. Popcorn's Terrell Owens. Sharpie might be Chad Johnson. I, I mean, Tiger. A real Tiger. I, I can't imagine that being involved. Like, maybe with, uh, like, Mike the Tiger at LSU. Yeah, Joe Horn is in there. Terrell Owens used both a Sharpie and Popcorn. Okay. So, yeah, no fan has ever cel or no one has ever celebrated a touchdown with a Tiger. No kidding. Four quarterbacks have thrown more than 500 touchdowns. What quarterback has thrown the most interceptions? Got to be Brett Favre. He played for forever. And when you are a gunslinger like Brett Favre is, you're going to throw a few interceptions. I imagine Vinny Testaverde is probably up there, but it is Brett Favre. What is a catch? Well, we debate this constantly. When a player secures the football and lands in bounds, that seems like two hands down. Okay, yeah, you got to do a handstand after catching it. Gets one hand in bounds. Why do they keep saying hands? It's when a player secures the football and lands in bounds. That was real hard. There are 22 players on the field during an NFL game. How many officials are assigned to each game? I have no idea. I mean, I'm thinking five. Because you have the crew chief, right? Or I guess he's not called the... I might be called the crew chief. He's the head referee. He's not really called the crew chief, right? You have some line judges. You have the back judge. I'm going to say five. Seven. Line judge, field judge, side judge, back judge, head linesman, an umpire, and a referee. There you go. Didn't didn't know there were seven. But, I mean, it makes more sense that there'd be a lot of them. Ah, oh, jeez, one of these. What team won Super Bowl XXV? So, 25? I have no idea. I'm going to say... It's probably the Niners or the Cowboys. It's the Giants. We talked about this earlier. I, I, again, I can tell you what years the teams have won each Super Bowl, at least for the Giants. I couldn't have told you what or what year Super Bowl 25 was. So there you go. The 1990 season played in 91. I miss a question about my own team. Sad. The first NFL All-Star game was played in 1939 on a baseball field. Where was the first Pro Bowl played? Gotta be Hawaii, right? Well, maybe not, but a lot of them were in Hawaii. When was the, or where was the first one? It's not gonna be Hawaii. It's gonna be California, probably. I'm going Hawaii. Okay, we're moving on. First, or five Super Bowls were named using Arabic numerals. When did the Super Bowl begin using Roman numerals? I have no idea. Super Bowl X, Super Bowl V, Super Bowl V. Okay. Well, I, <laughs> I had no idea. How many points were scored in the highest scoring game in NFL history? No idea. It probably isn't very high over 100. I'm going to go 101. It's 113. Sick. How can NFL team score just one point? It's got to be safety on a point after. Yep. There you go. Only way that's possible. Football in America was being played for decades before players began accepting cash. Who was the first professional football player? Not Jim Brown. Not Otto Graham. Probably not Don Hudson. Receiver for the uh, Packers. It's got to be William... Heffelfinger, the only guy I don't know. 
Played in the 1890s. <laughs> the NFL is made up of 32 teams from two conferences. How many divisions are there? Four. You got the North, South, East, and West. So they're asking how many divisions in total. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I misunderstood the question clearly. How many divisions per the whole NFL, not just in each conference? All right. Richest NFL team owner is worth $11 billion. What is the minimum salary for an NFL athlete? Four eighty. I just happen to know that. Don't really know why, just I do. The first Super Bowl was played in 1967. What team has the longest losing streak since then? The Lions had a complete winless season. As to the Browns, the Lions was the most recent. Gotta be the Lions. It is the Bucks. Oh yeah, they lost 26 games in a row. <laughs> in the 70s. Maybe this is the hardest, dude. Americans wager billions on the Super Bowl every year. What team has the biggest favorite in Super Bowl history? Uh, gotta be... I would have guessed the Colts over the Jets, honestly, in Super Bowl three. I have no idea who this would be. Maybe one of the early Packers teams? Niners? I, I get I would have no idea about that. The Colts were also 18-point favorites. Why not include them? Why not include them in the question? Super Bowl L. I have no idea. Broncos. Boom. I'm a beast. How many... I, not even a question. Uh, there have been 12 teams that have never won a Super Bowl, but how many teams have never been to a Super Bowl? Well, it's more than zero. The Jags haven't been. The Browns haven't been, I don't think. I'm going to say it's four. I think it's four. Texans haven't been. Yeah. Browns, Lions, Texans, Jags. Hundreds of interceptions thrown every season. Who has thrown the most touchdowns without an interception? I would guess Aaron Rodgers on this one. He's had some crazy streaks, that is my guess. And it is in 2018. Passes with that interception with 402 touchdowns. Hold on. Set the record for most consecutive touchdown passes with that interception. That's not true. No way. No way that's true. He did not throw 358. I think they mean passes. This, this, That's literally not true. Think about that. If you had a great season as a passer throwing 40 touchdowns, right? <laughs> How many seasons would that be without throwing an interception and only throwing touchdowns? Not correct. The largest comeback in a Super Bowl is 25 points. What is the largest comeback ever in an NFL game? It was going to be it's going to be the Frank Reich Oilers. How many points was that? I'm going to say it's 32. Sure was. Yep. Bills, Houston Oilers, and they don't mention Frank Reich, but I think he was the Bills quarterback during that game. Overtime rules are being modified all the time. What is the lowest scoring NFL game ever? Gotta be a 0-0 tie. Gotta be. Yep. 1947, Lions-Giants. Hell of a game, bet that was. How much did a 30-second commercial cost during the 2019 Super Bowl? No idea. I'm going to say 8.75 million. No idea. So 63%, I did barely better than the average. Good for me. Good for me. <laughs> A lot of these questions were weird. I did okay. Was it the hardest quiz ever? Absolutely not. Should I have done a little bit better? Absolutely. But that's going to do it for the video. Hardest quiz they've ever written. And some of them weren't even right, technically. 400 touchdowns without throwing an interception? Lie. But that's going to do it for me. Hit that subscribe button for more me apparently not knowing anything about the NFL. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Joke. I'm laughing so loud. Speed burns good.